This videotape demonstrates the effect of Polytron on the lifespan and performance of heavy duty engines, race car engines, and light duty engines. User reference. This is a 1000 kVA Cummins generator from the Gillette Quarry. This generator was in service for more than 30,000 hours. According to the manufacturer's instructions, the generator has to be serviced every 250 hours. After we started using Polytron, based on used oil analysis, we decided to extend the service intervals to every 1,000 hours and then to every 1,500 hours. As a result of penetration of water into its oil system, the generator was sent for repair to the Raz repair shop. The head mechanic inspected the engine and the engine parts and the results of his findings are as follows. The cylinder liners look absolutely beautiful. They don't have any wear nor any ovality. You can even see the cross honing pattern of the original bore. Zero. Doesn't have any ovality and doesn't have any wear. Looks just beautiful. Here are some examples of the cross honing pattern of the original bore that was observed in all the liners and the liners outstanding condition. The pistons. The rings are polished and there is no wear whatsoever. This is an engine that was in service over 30,000 hours. The piston's condition is really beautiful. These rod bearings look like they came out of an engine that was never in service. They do not have any wear, their condition is beautiful, and I can put them back into the engine as is. Here are some more images that demonstrate the outstanding condition of the connecting rod bearings that came out of this engine. I took out the piston pin. The bearing looks like new. It doesn't have any wear as if it was never in service. It doesn't have any excessive clearances and is in beautiful condition. This pin and bearing also look like new as if they were never in service. Again, no excessive clearances and beautiful condition. Usually, when I take out the piston pin, I find a lot of scratches and excessive clearances between the pin and the bearing. This one looks like as if it was never in service. It looks beautiful. Here is another piston pin and bearing that look like new. They don't have any wear as if they were never in service nor do they have any excessive clearances. The following images demonstrate the outstanding condition of the crankshaft main bearings. Now the crankshaft. I measured its ovality. It's round, beautiful, as if it was never in service. Beautiful, doesn't have any wear, shiny. Electrical generator engine, 900 kVA, 16 cylinders. Taken apart after 17,500 hours, 
equivalent to one million kilometers, with oil changes every 1,000 hours. This is Cummins' engine electrical generator. This engine was in operation since 1993. After 9,000 hours, we started using Polytron. Today, we took the engine apart after it was in operation 17,500 hours. The reason why the engine was taken apart is because of penetration of water into the oil system and oil into the water system, and not because of a breakdown as a result of wear. Now we can go and see all the engine parts and their condition after the use of Polytron. This is an oil cooler. As you can see, the penetration of water into the oil system caused formation of water oil emulsion. After 10,000 hours, we started getting an indication of water presence in the oil system. But we kept the engine in operation, thanks to Polytron, additional 7,500 hours before we decided to take it apart. After 17,500 hours, as you can see, the oil baths are totally clean of any sludge. This is a blockhead taken off a Cummins engine with oil changes and treatment with Polytron every 1,000 hours. As we can see, the oil did not oxidize and did not form any buildup. All the tests show that the total base number, even after 1,000 hours, is still high. This is highly unusual to see an engine after 17,500 hours, which is equivalent to 1 million kilometers, totally clean with no sludge or buildup. It is absolutely a rare phenomenon. Here we can see a piston from a 16-cylinder Cummins engine 900 kVA, where oil was changed every 1,000 hours with Polytron additive package. As you can see, the piston rings, two pressure rings are totally clean and free, and the same with the oil ring. The ring blades are in excellent condition. After 17,500 hours, it is very rare to see piston rings so clean and free to move. The carbon buildup you see here was caused by combustion of diesel fuel, which is not in our control. For your information, if we use Polytron fuel conditioner, this carbon buildup could have been also prevented. This piston goes right back to the engine as is. Let's go now to the piston rod bearings. As you can see, they still have their full thickness. There is no scoring or scuffing. Gentlemen, there is no such phenomenon. After 17,500 hours, these bearings had to be totally chewed up. The bearings are in excellent condition. Here I am showing again the full thickness of the bearings. There is no wear whatsoever. If the bearings don't have any wear, then of course the crankshaft doesn't have any wear. This engine will be put together without replacing any engine parts and without any repair. I want to stress again that this engine is 17,500 hours old, which is equivalent to 1 million kilometers.
Here you can see a cylinder sleeve from the same engine. From the inside, it has no wear at all. We can still see the honing of the original bore. Gentlemen, if after 17,500 hours, we still can see the cross honing, which means the engine didn't use up even 10 to 12 percent of its lifespan. We expect that this engine can run at least seven times longer. The engines of dragsters take a lot of abuse and very high torque loads. Usually, dragster engines are taken apart for total overhaul every 70 runs. This dragster was using Polytron and was taken apart after 350 runs with the following results. We're going to take a peek inside and see the bearing and the crankshaft and see what the Polytron has done. You can see the break-in coating is still on the connecting rod bearing. Look at the light gray area there. That's unbelievable. The Polytron has actually polished the bearing. The wear has absolutely been eliminated because the break-in coating is still on the bearing. Look at this connecting rod journal. Look how polished it is. It's unbelievable. Normally, we would only get 75 runs out of this particular crankshaft, and we have over 350 runs in here. Uh, there's no reason to go any farther in disassembling this motor or even changing the bearings. We're going to go ahead and put this motor back together and keep Polytron in this thing because we can get over 750 runs out of this, and that's 10 times the normal use that we'd normally get out of a crank in this nature. You can look at the top of one of these valves now and you can see that the Polytron has eliminated the wear on the top of the valve where the rocker arm hits. There's virtually no wear at all. Look at these rollers. They're absolutely at a mirror finish. There's virtually no wear taking place at all and these rollers take a lot of force on top of the cam lobes. Let's take a look at one of the rockers that right on top of the valve Notice how perfect the roller tip is. There's absolutely no wear at all. Normally you wouldn't be able to turn a crankshaft assembly like this, but with Polytron, look how easy this pistons, rods, connecting rod, and crank turn. You can see these cylinder walls are highly polished, and that's because of the use of Polytron. But well, we're taking a look at the inside of the cylinder walls now, and you can see the original honing pattern inside the cylinder. You notice that the Polytron has left a mirror finished, and look how clean that cylinder wall is. Well, we've removed the piston, and now you can see the way the carbon has come down to the first piston ring, but it hasn't gotten by the first piston ring or the second piston ring. Notice how clean the side of the piston is. Usually, you'll find the carbon creeping down between the first and second ring and all the way down to the oil control ring, sometimes all the way down on the piston skirt. But the Polytron has not allowed that to happen because the piston rings are so highly polished and therefore it makes a real tight seal against the cylinder. The Polytron piston, the skirt of the piston is highly polished and over here you can see the uh, piston without Polytron, the skirt of the piston is damaged. Taxi cab engines operate in very harsh stop and go driving conditions. The following video segment demonstrates the effect of Polytron on the lifespan and performance of such engines. Welcome to Valley Cab. Thank you. Richard, how many cabs are in the Valley Cab fleet? Currently we have uh, 200 cabs with 22 cabs on order. And what vehicles are, are you using? We have 87, 89 uh, Plymouth Voyagers. We have uh, 86, 87, 88 uh, Chevy Caprices. And uh, we just received some 1990 Ford LTD Crown Victorias. How would you describe the conditions that these vehicles are operating under? Extreme to very severe. They uh, travel all throughout the San Fernando Valley and LAX. Between LAX and the San Fernando Valley, we have one of the steepest uh, grades 